few months ago, Microsoft announced a new video platform called Stream. Now, since then, further details have been released as well as a preview version. I'm going to take a look at the preview version and see what Stream has to offer and also what it means for their current video platform, Office 365 Video. Around two years ago, Microsoft introduced Office 365 Video, a new app in the Office 365 suite for publishing enterprise video content. It's a much better solution than merely uploading video files to SharePoint libraries like I'm doing now, because SharePoint just isn't designed to stream video. People who want to watch the videos have to have a compatible player on their computer and even if they do have one, the playback will be choppy. And this is especially true if lots of people are trying to watch the same video at the same time. The SharePoint just isn't designed to host video like that. O365 video allowed employees across a business to upload video and have it converted to the right format automatically. Other employees could then stream the videos without needing video player software. You could create different channels and people could search for videos by using keywords found in the titles or descriptions of the video, and so on. All very much like an internal YouTube. This wasn't new technology, as many third-party video services were already available that could do these things, and more. But importantly, Office 365 Video was a native app, and included with the Office 365 Enterprise plans. Unfortunately, Microsoft were a little slow in rolling out some must-have features, such as the ability to embed videos in SharePoint pages, or view video from mobile devices. So, with Office 365 Video reaching a point where it was arguably a mature product, Microsoft then surprised everyone by announcing their new video baby, Stream. Stream looks a lot like O365 Video, and Microsoft say that it's based on the learnings from that product, but it's a completely separate product, and currently available to try in a preview version. So here's the Stream homepage, and it looks very similar to Office 365 Video. Uh, we have the trending videos at the top here, so these are the ones where there's been most interactions with recently, likes and comments. Uh, that's in a carousel, so you can go through those. Um, then as Stream is new here, new setup, we've got some instructions on how to, to, how to use Stream. And, um, but you can get rid of those and so that they don't appear in the future. Moving further down, we've got popular channels. Uh, so this is you know, where different videos are divided into, into channels um, and you can have as many of those as you like. If I click into a channel, actually, I can see the videos in that channel. And then uh, underneath that, we've got what I'm following. So these are channels that I've chosen to follow. I can click follow on a channel to follow it. And below that, we've got the actual, the latest videos from the channels that I'm following. So if I click through to a video here, I'll then see that the video starts playing automatically and that's streaming from um, Azure Media Services. So the performance there will be very good, even if lots of people are trying to view the video at the same time. There's also some metadata sorted against the video, so the title, the description, number of views and likes, and the channels that it's in. Uh, also, who has access to it, that's listed here. I can favorite the video, or I can actually share it. Um, so that's where I can either just email the link, or, or I can get the embed code, and then I can actually paste that into a SharePoint page, for example. And then further down we've got comments against the video so I can add additional comments here um, and also other videos that are, that are trending. When you want to upload videos you simply click this icon at the top and then you can actually um, upload several at a time so I'm just going to open up a few here and just drag those across and it will actually upload those all together and while it's doing that I can choose actually okay I can in input the information about the video what's the video called the description um, I can choose who should see this particular video and also the channels that it should be added to now the videos have all been uploaded and processed so converted to the right format and ready for streaming uh, I can see the actual thumbnails and I can choose which uh, particular frame from the video I want to be the main thumbnail I can actually up upload a custom image if I want to 
uh, if I'm but if I'm happy with everything here, I just haven't added it to any channels. If I'm happy with everything here, then I can just simply click publish the video and do that for each of them. That's all looking good. However, there are a few things missing that market leaders are offering. First up is external sharing. Stream doesn't yet have the capability to share your internal videos with external partners, so only people in your organisation will be able to see the content. This is apparently on the roadmap. Secondly, speech recognition. Now this is something that apparently the Stream product team are working on, but it's not available yet. Basically, using speech recognition, Stream will allow you to search for keywords that are mentioned in the audio of the video, even if those words aren't in the video metadata, like the title or description. Editing tools are something that a lot of third-party providers include, giving uploaders the chance to trim the videos, cut bits out, and also to set up chapter points. Wouldn't it be great if you could live stream your town hall meeting to colleagues in other countries? Well, you can't, at least not yet. Hopefully it's a feature that's in the works. Stream gives you some basic stats like how many times a video has been viewed, but you can't get more detailed information like the percentage of users who watched all the way to the end or which specific users watched the video. Ideally, it would be possible to subject videos to the same publishing processes as policies and SharePoint pages, where a person or group of people get to review a draft version of a video before hitting the publish button. Unfortunately, that's not yet available, and there's no word on when such a feature might be included. Microsoft are keen to reassure existing Office 365 customers currently using Office 365 Video that O365 Video and Stream will eventually merge and become the same thing, probably keeping the features that currently exist in each product. In this blog update from August, they provided some detail on the thinking behind launching a new video platform and what it means for the future of Office 365 Video. One thing that was mentioned is that Office 365 Video will still see new features arriving in the next few months, for example, being able to tag people in videos. And importantly, they are committed to automating the migration of existing videos and metadata into the new service. The main motivation for launching a new product is a desire to offer video services to customers who are not using Office 365. It's not yet known how much Microsoft Stream will cost and what different product options will be made available. For example, Will it be bundled with Office 365 E1 and E3 and so on? That's currently unknown.